What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 14 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back to this episode, this is going to be the Team of the Week following the release of the Team of the Year. Team of the Year players, guys, if you've got any of them, put that in the comments below. I want to see how many play people um, got some players because I know there's a considerable amount actually on the market and uh, their prices are quite cheap. So I think they were fairly popular within the um, people opening packs and stuff like that. I'm not too sure about the attackers, but I definitely know the defenders were... Um, I'm not too sure about the midfielders, but uh, I didn't try for any and um, I haven't been able to purchase any because they are still a bit too expensive. But uh, we're going to carry on with this week's team of the week, number 19. And uh, some more leagues starting up. I think the Bundesliga starts next weekend, which is going to be nice. Um, we've got more leagues to choose from, but uh, we're going to start off with some of the subs. And um, there's a very, very good week, shall I say, for Real Madrid in uh, in the terms of um, um, results. And uh, the first player I'm going to have here is Navas. Um, he is the keeper for, I believe it is Levente in the Liga BVA, who went out and played Barcelona at the weekend. And um, this guy here... Barcelona 1-1 with Levante, very, very good result for Levante. Um, and uh, Levante actually went 1-0 up with a goal from Vidra, a, uh, I think it was the right back. Uh, but uh, Navas here picking up around five or six saves, some fantastic saves. Like ones you just wouldn't think you could stop. Like it was like a triple save once. And I was watching that game and uh, this guy played out of his skin, a fantastic performance indeed. Moving on to the right, well, another sub, shall I say. Uh, we've got a player called Kiss, on loan from Cardiff. Um, Philippe Kiss, a, I believe it is a Slovakian CDM centre mid. And uh, this guy now, I believe, is on loan to, I think it is Ross County, I think, in the SPL. And uh, he picked up two goals from centre mid, which I should see him getting an informed card. Moving on to the next play, we've got some silvers. And the player we're going to have here is a player called Javito. Uh, plays in um, for the Liga Adelante, sorry. And um, you don't really see too many informed players from this league. But uh, he picked up two goals and an assist in, I believe... Um, Alcron, um, 5-0 or 4 0 win over Tenerife. Um, just fantastic performance by any centre attacking mid there. So very, very good performance indeed. Moving on to another sub, we've got a player called Schlacken. Uh, plays for Fenador in the Eredivisie. Ruben Schlacken plays as a right mid. Uh, 74 right player. And this guy went out and picked up two goals as well as the man of the match in, I believe, it is Fenador's 5 2 win. Uh, fantastic performance indeed from the whole Flying Doors squad there. Moving on to a strike. Of the substitutes, we've got a player called Stevie May. He's already picked up a inform plays for, I think it is um, Saint Johnson. Sorry, and uh, this guy went out and picked up a um, hat trick, three goals, and uh, he's already got an inform card. As you can see there, I believe that was picking up a hat trick goal as well. But he got three goals in, I believe, um, uh, Saint Johnson's three-three draw at the weekend. Not too sure on the squad he played against, but uh, this guy just an average. Probably goes up to a silver um, in form card. Moving on to the other subs, we've got a player called Vesenikov. I'm not too sure you pronounce this. It's not the best name um, to pronounce or spell, as it can see. I can't even copy from my document. Um, but uh, as you can see, this guy plays in the Belgium Pro League. Um, not the best player whatsoever, but he picked up three goals and an assist. And the final player of the subs bench, before we go on to the starting 11, is going to be Lafondole, the red and striker, Adam Lafondole. And uh, this guy picked up a hat trick in Reading's 7-1 domination over Bolton, I do believe is, at the weekend. And uh, he's definitely going to be on that in-form bench. Moving on to the starting 11, 3 4 one, two, back to that good old formation. And uh, in goal, we've got a player who actually played on Friday night, Diego Alves. Plays for Bl Valencia, sorry. Uh, Valencia went out and played Malaga on Friday. And um, Diego Alves, Valencia, um, sorry, Malaga, I think, are fairly low down in the table. So um, I think they were the underdogs. But uh, they went out, gave a good game. And uh, Diego Alves had to make around six saves and kept a clean sheet for the 0 0 draw. Uh, fantastic performance by him. Um, he's already picked up an inform card, so that should be fairly interesting. Uh, moving on to the first centre-back here, I'm going to have Juan Fran, another, not the um, Atletico Juan Fran, but uh, the um, Levente player, normally plays as a left-back, but actually played in the centre-back in the game against Barca, and he picked up the Man of the Match award, as well as um, just an overall very, very solid um, defensive performance, so uh, he could be on that, um, was it, informal list. Moving on to the next sub, we've got a player who plays in the Serie A, uh, Luca Redi, I think it is, plays for Parma, the same team as Cassano, um, this guy went out and picked up the winning goal in the 90th minute, it's going to get the 2-1 win, not too sure on those squad he played, um, but uh, picked up the man of the match as well, so play fairly solid at the defence. Moving on to the final player in defence, we're going to have another silver player, and that's going to be a player called 
Kazara. He plays for Morocco. Um, sorry, uh, Monaco in the French League One, and this guy's been playing very, very well. Um, he's just been one of those players who's been performing fairly well as a left back for Monaco. Um, and you don't really like see him as a Monaco player. He's not a very popular player. Monaco obviously have some quite big names, um, but this guy's definitely keeping his spot in the team, scoring a couple goals. Um, this weekend, he picked up a goal as well as a clean sheet in Monaco's 2-0 win over Toulouse, I think it was. But uh, this guy's been scoring, setting up assists and keeping clean sheets and just been overall very, very good performance as that left back. So uh, we, we will eventually see him on the team of the week, I will think. Moving on to the midfield here, we've got a player out on the right hand side and that's going to be Santi Cazorla. Actually played in the left on the game uh, but I've got another left mid in the squad. But Santi Cazorla playing out on the left, picking up two goals, two fairly solid goals um, in Arsenal's 2-0 win over Fulham, picking up the Man of the Match award as well. Uh, very, very interesting um, in-form card there. We could see, looks like he's got some very, very good stats indeed. Moving on to the two centre mids, we've got two 85-rated players. First player going to be is Vidal, plays for the Juventus, picked up two goals and an assist. Um, just been absolutely fantastic in these current two seasons. And uh, more to come from that guy again. Moving on to the other centre mid, we've got Modric, the Real Madrid centre mid. Plays very, very similar to Vidal from Real Madrid. And uh, Modric has been playing quite well right, recently, sorry, um, for about a couple last five games, maybe. Probably been very, very good in that holding defensive um, position in the midfield. Also getting up an attack and helping um, support some. He picked up an assist in Real Madrid's 5 0 win over Real Betis. I think Ronaldo picked up the man of the match award on that, but uh, Modric's picked, you could argue, picked up the um, clean sheet as well, playing more in that defensive role. Um, but uh, he, phenomenal centre mid, and uh, he seems to be coming out of his shell, especially at Real Madrid at this current time in moment. Moving on to the left hand side, we've got a player called Ibe Gomez, plays for Atletico Bilbao in the Liga BVA. And uh, this guy picked up two goals and the man of the match award in, I believe, it is um, Atletico Bilbao's 4 2 win over. Validadio, I think it is. Not too sure off the top of my head. Um, but uh, they played on Monday night. So uh, you never know. Sometimes they only give the weekend players the team of the week. And sometimes they um, give the other days. But um, we could see him on that bench. Just a standard gold um, left wing player. Moving on to the centre attack in mid. We've got Jonas Kabai. Um, I don't even think it's Joe. I don't know why I said that. But uh, Kabai, Jonas Kabai, um, he plays fantastically well against West Ham. Being a very, very good, solid player for Newcastle at this current time and moment. Newcastle doing fairly well indeed. Um, Kabai picking up two goals and man of the match in their three Newcastle's 3-1 three win over West Ham. As you can see there, he's already got a um, team of the week card, so his uh, next team of the week card should be fairly interesting. Moving on to the two final players of the squad, our strikers. The first player is going to be this player, Matri. Um, as you can see there, his card is AC Milan, but he actually played for Florentine. I believe he is. I'm not too sure if he's actually on loan or um, fully transferred. But uh, this guy picked up two goals and an assist in Florentina's 3-0 win over Catania. Um, very, very good perform performance by this guy, picking up the Man of the Match award as well. And moving on to the final player of the squad, one of the main stand-up players, we have Sami Eto, the Cameroonian Chelsea striker. Pick up a hat-trick against Manchester United. Um, outstanding performance, probably the... Most jammiest hat trick you've probably seen, but it's still three goals in the back of the net, and that's gone and made Chelsea gone and win 3 1 over Manchester United. Pick up the man of the match award as well. Very, very good, solid performance. Let me quickly swap over to this one here where you can see the players in their informed versions. As you can see there, I've just updated them, just their overall rating. I haven't changed any of their in game stats, changed their positions, and also the teams they play for. As you can see, Juan Fran is in the centre back, um, Gazzola as a left mid, and Matri is playing for Florentina, as you can see on that screen. But so overall, this this week's team of the week has not got like some of the amazing players, but it's got a number of high rated players. You've got three 86 rated players as well as Sami Eto there, 85 rated. Um, Kabai is second in form. Um, he's just got some very, very solid players indeed. Um, and uh, this week's team look, looks fairly decent to follow after the team of the year. So uh, people who's got remaining points, um, remaining coins and packs to go and pick up the team of the week. I bet none of you guys have, but I bet you've shipped them all, all on the team of the year. But if you guys do, this is going to be the team of the week. It should be released on Wednesday, the 22nd of um, January. Sorry. So uh, these are my predictions, guys. If I've missed any players, any players you think should have been in these predictions, put that in the comments. Also, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned, guys. This has been Chronos. Till next time, adios.